In this video, we will solve and submit the ISBN exercise from the third series. In this exercise, we will process a sequence of ISBN numbers and determine for each number whether or not it corresponds to a valid ISBN number. To end the program, the input must be concluded with the word stop. If the input does not correspond to the word stop, it means that a new series of digits will follow. In that case, the current input is the first digit of a new series and the other nine digits from the digit series are read and processed one by one. We use the known formula to calculate the check digit and print the result. We will now take a look at the example on the donor. The first value is entered. At this point, we cannot assume that the first line of the first ISBN 10 code contains a digit, since it may also contain the word stop. So we need to check whether this value equals the word stop or not. If this is not the case, it means that a new 10 digit series follows, to which the above formula is applied, to check whether the ISBN number is valid or not. The result is calculated and printed before we move on to the next series. Again, we check whether this first value is different from stop. If this is the case, a new 10-digit series is processed and the result is printed again. If not, so if the input equals the word stop, the input will be terminated and the program stopped. We switch to PyCharm to solve the problem. First of all, we will have another look at our solution from series 2. Here, as we enter the 10-digit series, the 10 input instructions were listed on different lines. In this exercise, we will try to shorten this code. Of these 10 entered digits, the check digit was calculated with 9 of these digits and compared to the last input and the result was printed. In this exercise, it must be able to repeat the action input, check, print a finite number of times. To do so, we will add a while loop to the code. So, indent. After entering the first value of the series, we test it and we will be doing so every time a new series starts. So we read the first value. When this value differs from stop, we can go on with the series and read the other digits. We calculate the check digit and print the result. Please note that as we enter x1 and we convert this entry immediately to, into an integer, this would get an error when running the program with the word stop as x1. So we will not convert this entered value until we are certain that it is a digit. So I remove this. So here we will convert the value x1 into an integer. After completing the loop, we test the condition again. If x1 still differs from stop, the loop will be completed again for a subsequent series of digits. At present, no new value of x1 is entered within this while loop, which means that it retains its original value and we end up with an infinite loop. So it is necessary when the entire digit series has been processed to enter a subsequent value for x1 before the while loop is executed again. We add the code as a final step in the while loop. In order to test this version a first time, we click the Run button or select Run ISBN from the context menu. We enter 9 as a first value. This value is tested and since it is not the word stop, 
it will be converted into an integer and the console is now ready to receive the next nine values. We enter the example values from the donor. With these values, the check digit is calculated and it is checked whether the tenth value corresponds to this check digit. We get the message OK. The console is now ready to receive the next value. When we enter the word stop, the program is terminated. So our exercise is proceeding as planned for the time being. However, we are instructed in this exercise to avoid repeating code wherever possible. We still see eight different lines for the input of the next eight digits. In fact, the same set of instructions is carried out eight times, namely reading a digit, calculating a product and adding up the result. As the number of repetitions for this part of the code is known, eight times, we can make use of a for loop to optimize the code. First value, x1, is saved in a sum variable, which we refer to as check digit. The following code is replaced by the for loop. Each time the next digit is entered, convert it into an integer, immediately multiplied with the, the corresponding factor and the product is being added to the check digit sum variable. We repeat this eight times for the second to the ninth digit. Now we determine the remainder of the sum after division by 11 and this result is saved again in the check digit variable. We now read the tenth digit and compare it to the check digit before printing the final message. In that way, by using the control structures while and for, we managed to, to shorten the code considerably compared to the previous versions. By way of a test, we will submit this exercise to the donor. We do this by copying the code pasting it in the donor and submitting the code. Once again, the solution is found to be correct. In this video, we had to process a finite number of digit series and for each series, determine whether or not it corresponds to a valid ISBN number. The program is terminated when the word stop is entered as the first value of a new series. This is the end of this video in which the solution of the ISBN exercise from series 3 was demonstrated.